dear friends, I am Dr. Omkar Prasad Baidar, MD PhD from King George Medical University, Lucknow. Today I am going to discuss on a very important topic, COVID-19 or coronavirus infection which has been first isolated in 2019 and how it affects the respiratory system or it, how it affects the lung. So my topic is COVID-19 and its effect on the respiratory system or lung. Now, throughout the world, COVID-19 has spread the, its pandemicity and almost it touches every part of the world and number of death cases are increasing with time, though some milder form of the disease has also been seen, 80% of the uh, infected person shows good prognosis, they may recover with time and become almost healthy with time but remaining 20 to 30 percent goes into a stage of critical illness because of this COVID-19 infection and finally it leads to death due to various causes because of COVID-19 complications in various systems of the human body. Now COVID-19 is a RNA virus and also better we can tell it is a respiratory virus because it affects mostly the respiratory system though it has effect on other system almost in all other systems but it is very much uh, effective it affects the respiratory system mostly it affects the respiratory system mostly now how it affects or why it affects the respiratory system actually it is higher very much affinity for angiotensin converting enzyme 2 which is an enzyme present in various parts of the body, uh, various surfaces. It is present in the kidney also, in the vascular epithelium also, it is present in the pulmonary epithelium also, but it is very much um, present in the pulmonary epithelium, especially in type 2 alveolar epithelial cells or type 2 alveolar cells. And alveoli, all of you know, is nothing but dilatation. It's a dilated like balloon like structure present in the terminal part of the bronchus. Each, each of the respiratory divides and ultimately form the terminal alveoli which is balloon like structure where gaseous exchange occurs and this alveoli is very much important because surface of the alveoli has some blood vessels or anastomosis between the pulmonary uh, veins arterioles and pulmonary venules or, or we can say better in a term that pulmonary capillaries are on the surface of the alveoli now this alveoli is very much important as it plays important role in gaseous exchange from the blood, from, from the air and pass the gaseous into the pulmonary capillaries from there it enters the whole circulation so it is the role of alveoli is very much important as it plays important role in gaseous exchange now this covid-19 it is high affinity for the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 which is an enzyme which is present in the pulmonary alveolar epithelial cells type 2 especially and once it binds with it, it helps in entry of this COVID-19 into the host cells, which is respiratory epithelial cells and ultimately it leads to multiplication. The virus cannot multiply outside but it can multiply into the host cells by using the host cell machinery. There is, a one of, there is the quality of almost all the viruses that they can infect a cell and once they infect, they enter and take the control over the host cell machinery and ultimately responsible for multiplication and ultimately cause the pathology. So most important organ out of all the organs involved or affected by COVID-19 infection, most important is lung. Of course in cardiovascular system it also affects the cardio uh, heart as well as blood vessels. In heart it causes myocardial injury, it causes atrial fibrillation, it causes coronary vascular disease, it, it may lead to myocardial inflammation, myocardial heart failure, any other sign symptoms and veno, veno, artery venular thrombosis or embolism it may cause. But in lung actually it's most important organ that is affected in our body because it contains the higher number of angiotensin converting enzyme to receptors on the surface of the alveolar type 2 cells and that's why 
this virus, COVID-19 virus, infects this type 2 epithelial cells and responsible for damage of the pulmonary alveolar epithelium and that's why we see the pathology of because of lung involvement by COVID-19. Now because of it is a many scientists are reporting to the World Health Organization there is an air bond so or it remains in the air for longer time and it may spread mostly because of cough, sneeze and contact with various respiratory surface. So we have to be maintained various cautious like wearing mask or washing our ha hands with alcohol based sanitizers, so maintaining social distancing, then uh, washing our hands off and on for it to soap and water for at least 20 seconds. So these are all measures, all of you know about this. So these are mainly because to prevent the transmission of the disease from one person to another. And again I am telling the most important organ that is involved in COVID-19 infection is the lung and in lung what it causes? COVID-19 causes simple infections like upper respiratory infection like simple cough, fever, the running nose, sneeziness, all those things can occur in a milder form but in severe form it leads to pneumonia, it may lead to acute respiratory distress syndrome and it may lead to pulmonary embolism or thrombosis even shock, multi-organ failure, kidney failures, even respiratory failure. So we can understand that depending on the depth of involvement or depending on the severity of involvement of the COVID-19, uh, the severity of lung diseases will be manifested. So 82%, 80%, nearly 80% of the infected person shows mild to moderate manifestation of the disease. They simply shows fever or cough and nearly 20% show some infection, severe infection uh, which may lead to death like pneumonia or ARDS. What is AR, uh, pneumonia? Pneumonia is nothing but uh, inflammation or infection of the lung, parenchyma and because of collection of fluid in the alveoli and which prevents the gaseous exchange. And what is ARDS? So ARDS is nothing but acute respiratory distress syndrome. What is acute respiratory distress syndrome? Acute respiratory distress syndrome is it's a type of respiratory failure which occurs because of inflammation in the lung. It may be because of pneumonia, it may be because of lung injury, it may be because of pancreatitis or any other causes. But in COVID-19 cases, it is because of the viral pneumonia, complication of viral pneumonia and total lung inflammation and that leads to ARDS. Now, COVID-19. It may in cause upper respiratory infection, it may cause lower respiratory infection, it may also lead to pneumonia and also leads to ARDS. So let's discuss one by one and what is upper respiratory infection when the infection is limited up to the upper respiratory tract. We call it upper respiratory infection. How will manifest? It will manifest simply as running nose, sore throat, some uh, glandular inflammation and flu-like sign symptoms. So it involves especially the nose throat and upper sinuses. So upper respiratory tract involves mainly the nose, throats and some sinuses and clinical features will be milder version of the COVID-19 and it is flu-like sign symptoms like common cold, mild fever, some sneezing, running nose, all those things. This is the upper respiratory tract infection. And when it comes to the lower respiratory tract infection, it leads to uh, involvement of the airways and lungs. So there may be cough, what will what be the manifestation? There may be cough with, with or without, without production of mucus and there may be some difficulty of breathing. So that is involvement of the airways and the lungs. Okay, But when sometimes the virus, if it is not handled by the immune system of our body in a nice way or in balancing way, it may go deeper into the respiratory system and may infect the lung parenchyma and finally leads to pneumonia and ARDS. What is ARDS? I told you, acquired respiratory distress syndrome. Now, what are the, uh, in pneumonia, question comes whether all types of patients does not develop pneumonia. We have seen that many patients who are suffered from, we have seen from the reports that many patients, most of the patients, uh, or many patients once infected through milder from the disease and some patients in selective cases go into deeper complicated cases of COVID-19 because of involvement of the deeper 
cases of lungs leading to pneumonia and ARDS. Now question comes, what type of patient will leads to pneumonia? Pneumonia is actually, uh, it is prone to some uh, patients or subjects who have some previous disease like diabetes. coronary heart disease or if they have any chronic lung condition like asthma, COPD or emphysema all those all such conditions or immunosuppressive conditions like persons taking cancer chemotherapy, cancer patients taking radiotherapy under steroid therapy or immunosuppressant drugs or person having taken organ transplantation and under immunosuppressive therapy those may be affected in this type of any pneumonia and also the old age is person elderly person are very much prone to the disease because their lung compliance is very much less their vital lung capacities are less and their immunity is also less so older patients actually should be very should take over cautious actually they should better they should be over cautious so that this uh, covid 19 does not even cause any serious disease in them and also person who are doing alcoholism is also or uh, those who are taking regular alcohol may lead to pneumonia because their immunity is also shut down and their body's uh, respiratory system and cardiovascular system is not fit to handle the covid-19 to handle the covid-19 infection okay so again i am telling those persons suffering from diabetes or who are having congenital heart disease and coronary heart disease um, person having previous Lung, chronic lung conditions like like COPD, emphysema, asthma, older patients, persons having immunos having immunosuppressive therapy or cancer chemotherapy or under steroids should be very much cautious as they have high chance or higher risks for pneumonia that is caused by COVID-19 infection and of course at the same time persons especially elderly persons or old age age is one of the important risk factor for suffering from pneumonia and covid-19 as COVID person with old ages or elderly person their lung compliance is also less and their immunity is also less so because of all these factors they are highly prone to development of pneumonia now what may be the sign symptoms of pneumonia in covid-19 cases so sign symptoms may be maybe shortness of breath chest tightness high fever then difficulty in breathing it may be severe difficulty in breathing also so those things some fatigue weakness these are the uh, some clinical features of pneumonia so how to treat the pneumonia in such conditions or how to treat the pneumonia in COVID-19 cases. So most important thing is that we have to treat the underlying cause. Since it's a viral pneumonia, pneumococcal vaccines or antibiotics will not play any important role because it's a viral pneumonia. So uh, viral and especially the COVID-19 and there is no special antiviral therapy. So uh, supportive treatment is very much important. If, if the person's partial, partial pressure of oxygen in the blood or oxygen saturation decreases, we have to give oxygen, keep the person in ventilation. And because of that, what will happen? Uh, the, gradually, the person may come out from the pneumonic stage, provided the immune system fight well with the pneumonia. And what are the signs symptoms of severe pneumonia? There may be fever, fatigue, shortness of breath, cough, wheeze and rapid breathing so these are some of the symptoms of severe pneumonia and i told you how to treat so you have to mainly resort by giving oxygen therapy or mechanical ventilation and we can give some antiviral drug like remdesivir so remdesivir is on pathway of research in various parts of the world so remdesivir it is an antiviral drug which can be given steroids is also important because it it prevents the inflammatory uh, mechanism that is going on in the lung and prevents the accumulation of fluid that is responsible for the uh, defect in gaseous exchange leading to complication of pneumonia. At the same time, 
some antimalarial malarial drug like chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine which are effective anti-inflammatory agent can also act in the COVID-19 pneumonia in severe cases. And then last, uh, of course, in spite of all this therapy, we should rely on the immune system which ultimately signify the recovery of the subjects. Now let's come to the ARDS. What is ARDS? I told you ARDS is nothing but is a type of respiratory failure which may be because of complication of severe viral pneumonia because of total inflammation or in, uh, uh, infection of the lung. Now what is happening is that because of uh, severe pneumonia, uh, complication of pneumonia, what is happening is that um, uh, since the virus is infecting the host cell and damaging the host cells, fluid will accumulate from the pulmonary capillary into the alveoli so there will be collection of fluid on the alveolar epithelium at the same time there will be secretion of fibrin there will be secretion of many neutrophils lymphocytes all will infiltrate on the alveolar wall and even some proteins will come out because some exudate may form because it is a type of infection is going on some exudates may form so the exudate will have lots of protein so protein will come out from the pulmonary capillaries into the alveolar wall and it will form a thick alveolar lining and because of that gaseous exchange cannot occur and because of the at the same time there's a high immunological response in severe case of the COVID-19 cases and because of the um, severe immunological response the, there we will see higher number of cytokine in the blood of the patients we call it cytokine storm and because of the cytokine storm there will be there will be chance of sepsis or multi-organ failure even uh, even lung failure or respiratory failure and because of this you may see ARDS acute respiratory distress syndrome and how to diagnose this pneumonia and acute respiratory syndrome that then we severe chest tightness in ARDS severe chest tightness uh, rapid respiratory rate rapid heart rate sweating person uh, become unable to uh, to pay respiration so all those things are the signs uh, signs symptoms of ARDS and pathologically it is because pathophysiologically I have already told it is because of exudation, protein, fibrin, various uh, inflammatory mediators that forms the inner lining of the alveolar and it makes the alveolar lining very thick so gaseous exchange cannot occur so the uh, person needs more effort, very strong effort to the respiratory to, 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 um, uh, to accompany the respiration at the same time then there will be systemic infection, systemic uh, viral sepsis that is present in the blood as well as uh, cytokine storm and multi, you know, which leads to multi-organ failure and respiratory failure also. So all these factors leads to acute respiratory distress syndrome which is the most severe and la almost last stage of the COVID-19 infection which is uh, higher death rate is very much high if not cured very and then very properly. So how to treatment before that how to diagnose? Diagnosis is based on chest CT scan. So CT scan will diagnose some ground glass appearance uh, in the uh, lung or X-ray may show ground glass appearance or opacity in the lung and when some blood test will show low lymphocyte count at the same time D-dimer may be blood in the D-dimer in the blood may be high very much high or there may be rise of C-reactive protein which proves that there is a severe inflammation is going on in the blood so there may be increased amount of C-reactive protein all these blood pictures also proves that there is person is suffering from ARDS and uh, acquired respiratory distress syndrome which may be a complication of severe viral pneumonia. Now how to treat? Now we have to uh, resort to mechanical ventilation, oxygen, giving oxygen uh, to increase oxygen situation because there may be hypoxia in the blood because of defect in gaseous exchange. To overcome that we have to give, rely more on mechanical ventilation. At the same time, there is one new drug known as Remis stem cell, Remis stem cell L. So there is one antiviral drug known as Remis stem cell L, which has been uh, on trial, undergoing clinical trial in various parts of the world, which is a, which suppresses pro-inflammatory cytokines mediators or pro-inflammatory cytokines and upregulates the anti-inflammatory cytokines. So directly or indirectly, it prevents the inflammation that is going on in the lung, and there is the responsible pathology physiology behind the lung injury or the lung pathology or pathology complication 
of the ARDS. So these are the various complications of the ARDS and how to treat ARDS and pneumonia. And another other complication of the lung, it is also uh, is one of the important complications of lung is pulmonary thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. Now how it is occurring because of cytokine storm or immunological response, uh, it increases the various uh, inflammatory mediators in the blood which increase the chance of intravascular thrombosis. So it may stimulate the intravascular thrombosis in the uh, lung by causing pulmonary thrombosis or pulmonary embolism which may lead, leads to the good pulmonary or effect in the right heart also and it may be cause of death in some cases also pulmonary embolism has been found in some cases after doing autopsy in COVID-19 patients. So it proves that pulmonary embolism may be another cause of the death in some patients and according to some recent um, studies the respiratory failure may be because of uh, effect of the COVID-19 infection on the brain stem and suppressing the respiratory centers. So this may be because of uh, involvement of the CNS by COVID-19 infection. So that is maybe because of another way of infection and the COVID-19 may involve the CNS and suppresses the respiratory center and may lead to respiratory failure. So these are the various uh, complications and various lung involvement or uh, respiratory system involvement by COVID-19 cases. So, so since there is no development of vaccine or specific antiviral therapy has been discovered or found to be 100% effective in such cases, that's why it is always that's why there is no specific way of treatment for this pneumonia and ARDS in these COVID-19 cases. That's why prevention is the best method of treatment. So you should uh, respect the, all the measures that has been given to you, preventive measures, because in such cases prevention is always better than cure and try to boost your immunity by taking good foods. And I already described in one videos that uh, rely on some fresh green vegetables, good maintain good hygiene, take the preventive measures take zinc, take vitamin C, take vitamin D, take uh, some natural immune boosters like garlic, turmeric, then uh, dulci or basil leaves, take uh, uh, fresh green leaf vegetables, vitamins, okay, and this may keep your immunity good and finally it helps in fighting and prevents you from development of COVID-19 complicated infection okay thank you very much